everyone. So since it is my first vlog, I'm going to introduce myself. So magpaila-ila sa deko. I am Janai Erika C. Kibayashi and as my surname suggests or indicates, I am half Japanese, half Filipino. So my father is a pure Japanese while my mother is pure Filipino. A Sabuana. So although I am half Japanese, half Filipino, I am born and raised here in Cebu, Lapu Lapu City. So maybe I have gone to Japan for about twice or three times and as what I have said to my blockmates on multiple occasions I do not speak Japanese so bisdak de kong dako loud and proud so I chose to wear something comfy today like a t-shirt for instance because I want you guys to know the, the real me the authentic me so I also have a bare face today as you can see and then I chose to wear this t-shirt pang architecture day ni nga t-shirt so feeling archie student sa deko okay so for this vlog today i requested for some of my friends on ig to ask me something that they would want to know so i'm going to share it with you guys today so the first question is Hi Ate, what is your favorite Netflix series? So, my favorite Netflix series is Dark and Stranger Things. So, both of these series is, um, what do you call this? My, my guilty pleasure. And the reason why I love Dark so much because it has a very complex plot and once you watch the series you've got to um, put your all of your attention on the screen so you won't miss a thing so the country is complicated nga family tree and then also it has a sci-fi feel to it because it it has a time traveling stuff going on in the series so yeah we have that there <laughs> So for Stranger Things, I love all of the characters there. I love the character development, especially for Steve and for Nancy. So I love both of those characters and you know, it's just very satisfying to watch someone grow on screen. So yeah. Okay, moving on to the second question we have here. So how do you cope up with quarantine? So the first part of the quarantine was actually the happiest part of the quarantine. You know, students were happy to get a break from school and stuff. And now we are missing face-to-face -face classes. Yeah, it's so sad. So we miss our friends right now and the faces of our classmates and stuff. And yeah, we just miss the normal. So, what did I do during the quarantine? So, I took care of myself. I exercised a lot. I read a lot of books. I watched a lot of series. So, yeah, the usual during boredom strikes. And I got my camera. So, I just got my DSL camera during the quarantine that my mom bought for me. So, I spent a lot of time developing my photography and stuff like that so yeah the usual okay so moving on to the third question we have here what is your passion and how is your love life so, okay so for the passion part i actually prepared a clip for that and for my love life it is non-existent so we'll skip that part I have always been a lover of art. It breathes, it flows, and it gave me life. The way you can articulate a thought without uttering words together. A 
content device a vivid peek into a soul. For me, photography is something and everything in between. <laughs> From that clip, I really love photography. It is my escape and I'm, I'm usually very shy and timid so it is my way to share my opinions and stuff like that. So yeah, it is how someone gets to know the real me. Okay, so mo moving on to the fourth question we have here. What song gave you the most comfort during your hard or hardest time? So, I have a lot of songs that I listen to when I'm sad, anxious, or just feeling vulnerable. And most of these are worship songs, but one song is very special to me. So, it is I Surrender by Hillsong. So, this song. I love this song because of the lyrics and it starts with Here I am, down on my knees again, surrendering it all So that line just gives me comfort, you know, the, the fact that you can surrender everything to Jesus and just go with the flow Okay, so moving on to the fifth question we have here Best movie, please oh. I had a very hard time picking for a movie, so I have here a lot of movie. So, one of the movie is Lion. So, this movie is very special to me because it made me cry very hard and it made me sob so sob. <laughs> because the kid, spoiler alert, he went home to his mom. So, they, they were united at the end. So, it is based on a true story and it is shot very well. And I think the setting is on India and on Australia. So, yeah, the cinematography is chef's kiss. Okay, moving on to the next question we have here. Favorite author. So, my favorite author is... Cassandra Clare. She wrote my favorite series of all time, The Mortal Instruments. So I just love her words because she writes mostly fantasy stuff, I think. And no, I don't know. Her words just wraps me into the world that she is creating and the characters that she gave life to. So I I cared for those characters very much. So yeah, that is my favorite author. Okay, so most of the questions that my friends sent to me are recommendations. So I don't know why they asked me those stuff. But yeah, that's all for this vlog today. So see you on the next one.